All right, so let's get going. Again, my name is Anahata. I am your desire Sherpa for our Your Best as Default journey, this free tune-up to allow yourself to experience your full potential, creativity, ease, flow, and success. My mission is to empower people to take ownership of their entire energy signature in order to live a happy life and deliver meaningful contribution. So again, please grab a glass of water if you haven't already, as you will need to be hydrated for our journey. And settle in, because today you will begin or continue the remapping process to activate new timeline potentials and collapse them into being. What I mean by this is, you will receive a powerful upgrade in your ability to manifest the life you desire and reach your goals. Today, you will begin to overwrite the default fear programs you've been playing, and in doing so, free up space to align with the future that you desire. A future where you are at your best as default. A future where you are wired to handle stress by expanding into the new rather than contracting in fear. A future where you are energized and passionate about the contribution you are bringing to this world. A future where you are able to experience the life you desire because you are a match to it. A future where you're satisfied with every portion of your journey into the fullness of who you are as it is unfolding, not when, but now. Time freedom, health, loving relationships, abundance, ease, joy, satisfaction, inspiration, creativity, all collapsing into your personal reality. These are byproducts of a coherent mind and body circulating through the source point of your heart. I will show you how. Today, my dear friend, you will take a quantum leap, which changes the trajectory of your life forever. Now, in this hour, not tomorrow, not if you understand the information we cover, but in this next hour, it will be. And it is so. And we've come together during a most auspicious time cosmically. For today is the full moon in Aries. Now, this broadcast is timeless, so you can tap into the energies at any time through this broadcast, live or in replay. But cosmically, today, encoded in the nowness of this recording, the full moon in Aries is delivering potent medicine to support us. It's a call to action to get up and do it. It brings transformative energies with the double 13, 13th day, and universal 13 year. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 reduced to 13. This is transformation, divine feminine energy. It is about empowerment and awakening your inner strength to create incredible progress within every aspect of your life. The moon, it's pulling on the polarity of who we are and where we want to be, which will allow us to release the old in preparation for the new. And it's Aries, the fire, the desire will begin to burn. The creativity beginning to churn and the newness of raw and limitless potential. Aries is the first sign. So let us begin by setting the sacred space and intention for all that I just said. Place your hands on your heart. We connect to creator, the source of all healing and expansion. Our intention with today's quantum leap is to allow. May the inner flames of our most sacred desires activate a renewed sense of attainability with our dreams. May the once viewed as obstacles fall away as we integrate the wisdom of the polarity as fodder for our greatness and missions. 
may we boldly allow rapid transformation and edits to be made for our highest good. We are sovereign and get to choose. May we choose coherence and balance. May we choose to birth an inner peace and confidence which bursts forth as progress and expansion. Our highest contribution awaits activation and it begins now. Deep breath. It is so. I think I know you, but you may not know me. If I magnetized those who need me, if I'm speaking clearly to those who are sending out a beacon of asking, if we are a match to each other, mirrors, if you're tuned into this broadcast, you most likely know what you want and want it now. But the lag in manifestation is sending you into frustrating cycles where you feel like you're not making much progress. Probably because of the nine to five and the life you currently live not being a match to the life you desire. And you're trying. You're by no means lazy. You're just, you've got a lot going on and seemingly limited energy and time. You are awakening to the grand gifts you have and the purpose you came to this planet to live. So the norm is feeling less and less aligned with who you truly are, which only adds to your desire for more and the frustration that you feel since you aren't quite there yet. You are a teacher, a way shower, a light worker, a contributor, an innovator, a goddess at your core. You know your worth, but can't seem to deliver evidence of it at the level you envision. Because at the end of the day, you're feeling tired, worn out, like you give and give, and yet there just isn't enough left to make progress in the areas of your life that you're longing for. You're stuck in a rut, the same old, same old, and you're looking to break into the next phase of your growth and achievement. You're ready. You sense there are some underlying factors in your inability to quickly reach the timelines you envision, combination of dense vibrations and outdated patterns which seem to hold you back, perhaps a lack of know-how or a feeling of overwhelm with the magnitude of what it is you seek to birth. You've been gathering a lifetime of knowledge and have so many things in your wisdom toolbox and yet you can't seem to materialize you can't seem to materialize it into one straightforward and clear offering, one that supports you fully physically, emotionally, and spiritually. You may be in business for yourself already and just need to tune up so that you can get on with your magnificence, or you may be drudging along, working for someone else, dreaming of the day you follow your bliss and branch out on your own, but you have to be realistic about when that can happen because you've got basic needs like everyone else. I know you because I was you. Now, we don't have time to go into my story, and that's not why you were here, but one of the many books I have launching this year will tell it fully if you're ever interested in where I came from and what I am doing. The cliff notes being, I was down and out and sinking fast. I surrendered and all the answers came bubbling up from within through my allowance and surrender. I received a divine download in April of 2015 and I am the channel of the Law of Attraction of Energy Medicine called the Anahata Codes. I am an author and a teacher, and it is my honor to be living my bliss while I help my thousands of students around the world wake up and remember their place and their magnificence. In a nutshell, I am leading goddesses into their glory by helping them remember their meaningful missions and deliver them in a way that the 3D world can digest and reward you for. Now, if you're saying, mm, not really, I'm just here for a tune-up, don't be surprised if your inner fire is activated 
And if you feel more creative over the next few days and weeks as the space we free up today and the coherence we achieve allows you to expand into new territory. Don't be surprised if the new beckons you into new potential terrain. Now, I'm going to be moving fast today, but I'm going to be just sharing with you a few things. It's a 60-minute path to transformation. Please allot the entire time. You're not going to want to miss the free gifts I have at the end. We are going to be framing how our brains manifest our reality and exploring quickly the beauty and sometimes ugly of that into a 25-minute guided journey to tune up, clear your cache, delete temporary files, disable startup programs which are taking up space in your ability to energize the path before you into your best life. You will need to be free of distractions to take this journey, so please prepare now to do so. Later, I'm going to invite you to apply to an exclusive program which I'm hosting and guiding just a small group of us over a period of six months in order to set all aspects of your life to a default, to a default setting of greatness, mind, body, soul, full alignment with the mapping you desire and the path to embody it. And you're going to want to stay until the end, as I said, to receive a free gift, as well as ask any questions that you have about this extraordinary work and its implications. Let's do this. Now, the reality is that we all have the potential to be the best we can be, but all too often our norm gets in the way. As I like to say, you can continue automating the norm or you can automate your meaningful contribution, but it's easier said than done. It's what separates the achievers and highly successful people in the world from those who lead mediocre and largely unfulfilling lives. At our core, we know we are special. We know we came here to do our best, to build deep and lasting creations and connections, to leave this world a better place for having been living in it. In general, those who lead happy lives have achieved a certain level of success within four basic categories, relationships, purpose, abundance, and health. The more meaningful and fulfilling our relationships are, the happier we tend to be. The more vibrant our bodies are, and if we are pain-free, the happier we tend to be. The more abundant we are, the easier it is to find balance in a material world and reduce stresses, and that in general makes you happier. And of course, the more we tap into our purpose and deliver it, the happier we become through that contribution and the feeling of value and worth. So those are the four pillars of happiness that lead you to an overall happier life and your overall well-being. Now, of course, a lot of factors come into play with regards to your set point on these areas. That is, if you were brought up to view these areas as, as filled with obstacles or filled with potential. And while we have free will to choose in every moment and the power of the now is truly all you need, we have ingrained defaults, which tend to have us cycling around the same patterns again and again. And it all comes down to habits. It turns out that 80 to 90% of the thoughts we have on a daily basis are the same thoughts we had yesterday. We're living our lives on repeat. Not because we necessarily want to, but simply because of our biology. Mindfulness is all the rage, but being 100% here and now means that you are merely on board with the 5% conscious bandwidth that you have in any given moment to think new thoughts. The other 95% is still playing on default through the commands of the cerebellum portion of your brain, the subconscious and autonomic response that we have wired through our conditioning ancestry, brainwashing, societal and familial upbringing. And it's what we are looping around. To put it bluntly, we believe what we believe and the universe conspires to prove those beliefs. In general, we don't seek to find anything beyond what is. 
and that ensures that the life we live today is going to change very little over time, if at all. Of course, change requires change. And without the new, we merely deepen the neural connections we have already developed. And while we may aspire to reach goals and heights we know we have the potential to, we're working against a very rigid anatomy, which is run by the ego mind, whose one job is to keep us safe. And safe means normal. And normal means predictable. And that just doesn't leave much room for new regardless of how much we crave it. While we may see the future we desire, unless we become a vibrational match to it, we won't ever experience it with our senses. This is why, to succeed, we need to understand how we are wired in order to choose new defaults that align with where we are wanting to go rather than repeating where we've been. So let's take a quick look at this. Let me explain your brain and how it affects what you experience. Out of these 60,000 thoughts we have each day, 95%, 90% of them are the same. They have done research to determine this. Now, this would be fine if we were content with every aspect of our lives, but since we are creators, that just won't do. We want more than what we have now. We want new experiences, new adventures, new goals achieved, new ways to expand into who we came here to be. We want improvement and desire this because we believe it will make us happier than we are currently. Aspirations are a wonderful thing, but as humans, we tend to wait until the norm gets so unbearable that we can't stand not to change before we take drastic measures to improve our lives. It is my goal to support you in doing so with joy, ease, and for the sake of expansion and knowledge, not because you are in dire straits. But both states of being will work to propel you into your greatness. Pain is optional. Again, our thoughts become how we act and those actions deliver experiences and those experiences release emotional responses from what's called our limbic brains. We are largely living on default. Now, the limbic brain is also known as the mammalian brain and it's where we produce the chemicals we feel as emotions. We can gain greater meaning for the experiences we have through the feelings associated with the thoughts we are thinking during a specific event. And so our lives become a series of feelings associated with events from the past. Once these judgments and the corresponding feelings make it into your neocortex, they become programs, defaults, patterns, the norm. We can and do become addicted to our norm because of our reptilian brain. It loves the predictable. It keeps us safe and alive. So we are subconsciously following the same patterns day after day after day. If you've heard of Dr. Joe Dispenza and the decades of research he has done on how to unlock our full potential, he says something like this, and guys, I'm just ad-libbing here. What fires together wires together, and they say that by the time you are 35, you are a series of hardwired responses which have gelled as your personality from habits, attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions. And that your personality is what you will experience as your personal reality. The way we think will determine how we act, and how we act will determine how we feel, and how we feel becomes our personality, and that is our personal reality. Thinking, doing, being. Again, not the end of the world, except for one thing, and this is the ugly side of our predictable lifestyle and processing that we have as humans. Most of us spend about 70% of our time in a stress response. Fight, flight, frozen, or hide 
are largely the norm. We stack our plates high and cram so much into our daily schedules that we aren't at ease in general. Our energy becomes incoherent and erratic. Our brains activate stress hormones, which we feel as fear-based emotions, which keep us further regurgitating dysfunction and dis-ease. When we think stressful thoughts, we have stress response, fight, flight, frozen, and over time, we default to this way of being until one day we decide enough is enough and we surrender. But why does surrender work? Because we let go. We naturally entrain with our coherent self, which is aligned with our heart, the anahata. So coherence is the beautiful side of our anatomy and it is our natural state of being. It's when we are living past our analytical mind and we are tapped into divine consciousness, which is pure flow and coherence. Now, our energy travels in a toroidal pattern and it is stable, self-feeding, sustaining, balanced, coherent, where stress and fear force our energy layers to become erratic, we are pushing both the brakes and the gas at the same time. Our body is saying, warning, alert, danger, and our minds produce hormones to match it. We don't use our energy wisely and we aren't efficient. On the contrary, when we are centered in the source point and fully conscious, that unconditional love stabilizes and strengthens. We can see past our limitations and begin to energize new possibilities of expansion, of better, of hope, of joy. And the good news is that is our natural resonance. That is who we already are at our core. So when we can get out of our heads and into our hearts, we entrain back into the flow of infinite intelligence. This is the source point. This is the Anahata. Now, a side effect of coherence is that we are efficient with our energy. And in doing so, we free up space to be creative, passionate, joyful. And our thinking, doing, and being transforms into limitlessness. But what about the ugly? Well, just because we are hard, just because we are hardwired one way doesn't mean we aren't editable. We can remap our default fear programs and patterns and set new ones. Where there is fear, we can choose love. Where there is judgment, we can begin to instead discern. We can begin to respond rather than react. We can be more present in the eternal now moment without dragging the past or projecting into the future. Being fully content and satisfied in this moment with faith in the unseen blessings which are on the way. Anchored in the center point, we can still see the chaos around us, but we can choose the path of least resistance unapologetically. We can end the cycles of blame, shame, self-sabotage, and limitations. We can boldly allow ourselves to emerge into new phases of our being because it's no longer risky or unwise. The ego mind will allow you to proceed. This is the beautiful side of coherence and this is what we shall begin to do now. Let us take a journey and to prepare, we shall install an Anahata code, an assisting frequency, a portal to resonance remembrance to tap into what it is we need in order to make edits to our hardwired computer systems on certain topics. Now, if you are new to this, it's a leading edge self-directed biological transformation called the law of attraction of energy medicine. Welcome. We do not have time to dive into all there is to know about this technology, but here is a bite-sized nugget to understand. We hold the entire pattern. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop, said Rumi, and he was right. 
We have access to the entire pattern of all and the potential of all that isn't even yet materialized. For we are all a fractal of the one photon and birthing our new through our own eyes of response. We ask, we align, we allow. Limitless timelines are available to us at every moment. What we focus on, we energize. And what we energize, becomes. We think, we act, we are. And what we think we focus in on, and how we act is what we become. And what we become is what we are. It's a fractal cycle. But we get to choose. And when we don't think we can choose, we give our power away as victims. When we see ourselves as what we are with no other option, we adopt a closed mindset, one that doesn't change, one that is certain to produce the same predictable future. What we need is a growth mindset, one that is open to edits and the new, one that little by little, day by day, allows that which we have asked for to manifest by being it in its absence. So if there is something we want that we don't yet have access to, and yet we have access to the totality of all potential innately, we need only become a vibrational match to what we seek, and it is so. Here's the catch. We have to do so in its absence. That's the key. Not when, but now. Not once we experience it, but in its absence. And so we will now become a match to the future we seek through clearing out some primal junk. The assisting frequency of the strength card in the tarot is just what the doctor, okay, what the goddess self ordered. So let's access new timeline potentials. This is what you came to me for. This is why you are listening in today. And Anahata codes get us there because they already resonate at the frequency it is we hope to achieve. So they are already in the reality we are in need of to realize our dreams. All right, let's go there through the portal of the strength card. And I couldn't think of a more fitting Anahata code to support us during this core tune-up than as represented within the total definition of what is defined as the strength card in the tarot. The assisting frequency strength from the tarot category on Ahata codes is a stellar way to tune up your four pillars of happiness while, re while rewiring old and outdated defaults. Remember those four pillars of happiness being relationships, purpose, abundance, and health. The strength card happens to deliver physical and psychic strength, intelligence, health and vitality, joy, and leadership. Now, we may have some judgments about tarot or tarot through some limiting belief passed down, um, which equates to some spooky lady sitting over a crystal ball telling us our fortune and warning us of this and that. <laughs> Don't worry. The tarot is really just archetypal energy, and that is magnetizing to you in much the same way as the codes are when you pull one. Just as you are resonating with the need for everything I've disclosed to you today, so too did you draw it to you. Yes, you are that powerful. Allow it, let it continue, recognize, marinate in it, rejoice, confirm it. Let the information and energy flow. You have ordered it through your magnetism, your comprehensive asking, both of change and desire. So the number eight in the deck, this card holds that potential. Eight is infinite potential. And in addition to divine feminine power, which is different than force, this code will activate owning your own strength taming your inner beast, taking charge of your life, mastering your conscious responses, activating passion, hope, and eagerness to live and experience life to the fullest, joie de vie, 
living in a state of flow, which is a balance between body and mind, taking up your crown and rightful place on the throne of your life. You are sovereign and should rule, not your surroundings or defaults. See now how the lady is dressed in pure and untainted clothing, pristine and glowing, a higher state of regard and symmetry. This is your higher self and the womb of potential. See now how the environment is set in unity and wholeness. Growth and thriving are the norm. There is no danger. And the beast's paw rests lightly above the water. Water being the emotional layer, which further illustrates the total balance of mind, body, and soul. Feel now into the beast she has tamed, not through force, but through absolute consciousness and discernment. Through understanding fear and not letting it hold her back. Feel now into the infinite flow of energy running on the background, not set in stone, but agile and limitless, and yet reliable, stable, natural. The beast is no longer erratic or needy, no longer defensive or primal. It is coherent, knowing that it will be fed. It need not resort to instincts that no longer serve. Everything is balanced. It gives a lick of approval, a blessing which denotes allowance for the ego to now feel safe with limitlessness and the unknown, for it is no longer risky to align with that full potential. There is no fear or miscommunication. So let's go ahead and install this assisting frequency now. Simply place your left palm up and your right hand on your heart. We ask for, align with, and allow this Anahata code. With gratitude, we activate the assisting frequency of the Strength Tarot card 8 8 one three eight one three seven eight one nine zero four two six zero eight 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 zero one three eight one three seven eight one nine zero four two six zero eight 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 zero one three eight one three seven eight one nine zero four two six zero eight 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 zero one three eight one three seven eight one nine zero four two six zero eight 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 zero one three eight one three seven eight one nine zero four two six now place both hands on your heart and breathe with gratitude it is so now this is active and we are going to use it during our tune-up. I also want to quickly mention that I have a 13-minute YouTube video about this specific code, which you can also access later. Just go to my YouTube channel by searching the assisting frequencies on YouTube. You'll find my channel. Do subscribe if you want access to weekly codes. All right, so this beautiful quantum definition of which we will have access to activating is all about strength, but a gentle strength. And we shall now use it to rewire as we embody this into our neural chemistry in order to build new circuitry and program our best as default. We're gonna go from thinking to acting to being in the flow and conscious, sending things to our limbic brains to fire and wire into new habits of success and expansion. Let's do so now. All right, so take a deep breath. Welcome to your journey activation. 
We are going to deactivate unnecessary programs and stress responses while keeping all that serve our highest good intact. We are going to increase coherence through our brain network by connecting it to our heart coherence. We choose to allow the old to fall away and see into a new future that will gel and solidify instantaneously. So take some deep breaths and just allow the air to expand into your gut. Continue with this deep breathing. We are safe in this space. Our angels and guides are with us. Creator is with us and within us. Keep breathing as you gently gaze out at your surroundings, focusing on nothing but taking it all in. Our upgrade is safe as we will only activate what is in our highest path of goodness. We are merely broadening our vibrational vocabulary. Nothing is being forced and we are not being manipulated. We reign supreme within our own conscious choices and choose to provide new energy and information from which to build our new and best lives. Our new and best personalities and our new and best personal realities. We activate the assisting frequency of the strength card now. Breathe with gratitude. It is so. As we stand now in our strengthened state of sanctity and empowerment, we are wizards of our world. We close our eyes until the lids are about to touch. Our eyes are still a little bit open. We roll our eyes back into our heads gently. I want you to look up as you keep your eyes open just a little bit. You may notice your eyelids now flickering. Let them. Keep breathing deeply. Now notice that your focus is in your head, behind your eyeballs. And consciously choose now to travel down the soft space of your throat. Your focus is traveling down into your heart space. You reach the soft center of your heart now with your consciousness. You may close your eyes fully. Your brain waves are now beginning to entrain with your heart waves. Your heart is coherent and stable. The pulsing of your divine self has built a strong and stable network of default responses, which are the path of least resistance. Your brain is being bathed in a coherent pattern of unconditional love now. Imagine the channel between your physical heart and your brain opening up. All is flowing. All is unified. All is pulsing oneness. Now I will count backwards from 10 to 1. When I come to one, you will be completely aligned with the natural rhythm of your divine heart and higher self. The you that you now know during the day in this lifetime will be waiting for you when you return, but it will never be the same. You will have been upgraded. For now, we are going to become what we envision and form new neural networks and vast defaults of strength, optimism, joy, faith, and capability. As our expanded and opened self, we will be mapping to our bodies as we sit in meditation and await. A portal of upgrades will be flowing in. 
10. Breathe deeply as you solidify your structure. 9. Merge into the goddess woman that you are. 8. You are aware of your divine self and take your throne as the Alpha. 7. You value your instincts and primal corners, but you are in charge and your silent strength is understood. 6. The inner beast is docile and abiding. It knows that it will be fed, but right now it will do as it's told. 5. You gently assure your ego that all is well, and it approves. 4. You begin to entrain with the unity all around you. There is no limit to what you can reach. 3. The self that you know is dissolving as you merge with the totality of all things as one. 2. You are not your thoughts or your emotions. You are consciousness experiencing physical states of being. 1. Those physical states of being are entirely up to you. What do you desire? Breathe with gratitude. Mapping this upgrade as your highest consciousness, imagine now your upgrades are happening in real time, all of them, not when, but now. You may see the neural connections firing and wiring in other connections that no longer serve deactivating and going offline. Or you may not see anything at all, it doesn't matter, it is still occurring with visual cues or without. Repeat after me. I release all fear of change. Repeat after me. The old connections are disabling. Repeat after me. I release all prior judgments which don't serve me. More connections going offline. Repeat after me. I release my limiting beliefs and it is safe to let them go. More and more old wiring becomes obsolete. Repeat after me. I release anyone who judged me, including myself. Freeing up space now. Repeat after me. I release anyone who didn't love me, including myself. Deleting old programs and uninstalling unnecessary startup programs, your higher self automatically knows where they are. Repeat after me. I release anyone who took me for granted, including myself. There is great space opening up for new information now. Repeat after me. I release anyone who treated me poorly or rejected me, including myself. The last of the defaults are now neutralized and dormant. Repeat after me. I take full ownership of my entire energy signature. Repeat after me. I give permission to myself to step into my power. Deep breath. Focus on your heart. Your heart which beats coherently. See now the empty spaces inside your brain. Unlimited potential. Limitless neurogenesis available. New networks are awaiting your command. 
Allow yourself to explore your ideal personal reality. Try it on as you travel down paths of your brain. I will give you moments in a moment. At the end of each path, I want you to literally envision yourself in all sorts of circumstances that you desire. A vibrant and healthy body in an extraordinarily loving relationship in a career that fills you up and overflows your passion and creativity and gives you deep purpose and fulfillment. See yourself with limitless time and the resources you deserve to live an extraordinarily abundant life. Are you traveling? What are your surroundings? Allow yourself to marinate in this future reality of which we are matched to in the now due to our allowance of resonance with it. Not when, but now. If any doubt or pulling to focus instead on what you have now appears, tell the beast to sit and stay. You are in charge, not your defaults or even current reality. The is of the now is of no consequence for it is vibration from the past. So gently but firmly and with no fear, deactivate those pesky responses that used to arise. We are thinking new thoughts now. You begin to feel inspired. And as the networks continue to form, you feel an inner desire to expand beyond yourself. To boldly step into this life you can see. The energy of your intention is pure potential. And as you imagine one scenario, you can see it. It becomes. Each neurological firing creating limitless new networks within your brain. These are timeline potentials, and they are infinite. You begin to see into each branch scenario as infinite timelines open up for you to travel upon. What could you be? See it. What can you do? See that. Now is your time to paint the life you desire. Allow yourself to dream into any circumstance or desire that you have. Begin to see those things as already having happened, not as mere potential. You are going to view the life you desire now, and you are safe to do so. It is not risky or new. It is long overdue and planned. It is a sure thing, solid, natural, and known. Take your time. I will give you a minute to look around. Go down one branch and see what you'd like. Solidify that potential as you see it light up into being. Go down another. There are limitless branches within your brain available as the fuel from within your sacred heart is energizing and materializing any circumstance you wish to dream of. Let us explore our neurological circuitry now and I will be back with you in a minute.
Okay, take a deep breath and keep your eyes closed. Each reality that you have imagined can be manifested, each and every one. To take this potential into your physical body, let us now integrate the assimilation. Absorbing and digesting the information into our physical mapping. The sacred heart beating within you is pure light. The light illuminates the entire body map, the physical you. Let this light engulf your entire energy signature now. A powerful pulsing expands to the farthest reaches of the galaxy instantaneously. Collapsing now faster than the speed of light into your limbic brain. The density gels the physicality of your potentials as new defaults wave into particle. The potential is no longer a hope. It is fully manifested. All here, all now, forever now. You see yourself, your bodily self, the person you see in the mirror in this dimension, surrounding a newly wired brain. All the new programming and updates, upgrades we've completed during our time together are fully activated and are running as default. The triad is complete. Mind, new defaults. Body, entrainment with heart coherence and a new reality. Soul, the open channel to expansion and limitlessness. As you recall the strength card, the innate essence of the meaning now balming your layers like water. Absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating energies to your liking. Continual edits available and limitless realities awaiting your go-ahead. Your ego is thanked for keeping you safe and there is no danger in these upgrades. You are a match to all desires. Your heart and brain coherence brings you a feeling of contentment, trust, and spiritual wholeness. The new defaults are pulsing a new energetic signature, and everything encoded within it is now in the center of your heart and brain. Place both hands on your heart and receive. It is so. When I count up from one to ten, you will come out of the theta brain state and once again resume your regular state of awareness. The new autonomic programs will continue working on the background without your focus or intention. One, your wave self continues to unify as you become more aware of your particle self. Two, notice the air now rising and falling along your throat. Three, feel your body. Four, wiggle your toes. Five, gently stretch any part of your body that is asking. Six, move your fingers. Seven, stretch the muscles of your face. Give a smile. 8. Roll your eyes around and gently open them when ready. 9. Gaze around the room and see your new world. 10. While it looks the same, nothing is the same. Your resonance has been fully upgraded and integrated to align with your magnificent self. It is so. Okay, so how was that? Incredible, right? Now, before we wrap up and I give you the free gift I mentioned at the beginning of today's journey, we are going to go into a live Q&A. And I want to invite you quickly to spend the next six months with me. 
What we got done today in just 60 minutes was incredible. Just imagine what you can accomplish with an entire six months. Okay, so the program is called Your Best as Default, Inspire and Motivate the Goddess Within. It's a program for you to gain confidence, free up space, and fill that space with curiosity, which gives birth to passion, into purpose, into a meaningful contribution so that you can achieve success in this lifetime, which ripples into all areas of your life. I'm gonna help you hone into your purpose, but more importantly, give you the tools to instill grit and determination day over day to actually set goals and achieve them. When we can remap fear, up-level our skill set, use the energy we've freed up since we are no longer living in stress response to unlock creativity and drive, there is nothing you can't achieve. The delivery is going to be realistic with daily five-minute framers. That's it. These are framers because you must understand, do, and then be in order for it all to come together. And if it's overwhelming, you simply will not do it. In order to retrain your brain, in order to set your best as default, little by little, or as fast as you can allow, your worst is going to be much better than your current best. And it won't matter what comes your way because you'll be trained into excellence as your worst case scenario. So if this interests you, you're going to join a very small group of people. We're going to get together once per week digitally in addition to that daily five minute framer that you will listen to as an audio. And when we convene, we're going to be forming what I call a thank tank. This is where we will flex our muscles and walk our talk. This is where we can be vulnerable with our mess and not be judged for it, but rather celebrate that mess as your medicine. Pain can be gain when flipped into fodder. We will gain control of our lives and destiny. We're going to set aside 15% of our time to nurture and excite our potential. And you'll have freed up much more than that due to this being mindful and stressing less. So mastery of choices and responses, it's going to give way to inspiration and passion and to purpose and to mastery into one hell of a magnificent life. So I'm going to be training up your skills, training up your motivation, training up your perseverance and grit, and helping you to develop flow triggers, which are going to get you into the sweet spot of coherence on a biological level, guys. This is very scientific. Out of boredom and anxiety, into excitement and fulfillment, to drive, right? Because purpose only gets you halfway there. In fact, it's just the starting line, really. It's what you do after that, which most of us have not the energy to muster, when we can back our progress with feel-good hormones as reward, we can wean ourselves off of our stress-based norms into a new cocktail of very good feeling chemicals due to the way in which I will help you understand your neurochemistry and how to make it work for you. So again, habits, motivation, curiosity, passion, purpose, repeat using biochemistry, on a hot codes, remapping accountability, know-how, and of course, guided meditations. I also want to mention that this program includes both of my master classes and certification as both a frequency alchemist and a certified on a hot code practitioner as bonuses. So even if you are clueless as to what you want to birth into the world, which by the way, you will not be once we free up space and unlock your potential, you still have the option to deliver what I am delivering to the world in new ways by making the Anahata Codes your purpose and providing them to others in unique and transformative ways. 
Yes, I empower my students to use this technology as if it was their own. So the Your Best as Default program is by invite only. So the first step is to apply. And I'm looking for some things in your application. And if I can't help you, you won't be invited into the program. So the next step is to apply. And guys, I encourage you, it's a therapeutic clarification of your intention and a powerful way to begin to consciously reach for and achieve that fulfilling high standard of living just by filling it out. Applications are considered on a first come first served basis and a discovery session will be scheduled with you if you're accepted into the program. This will be when we discuss the investment and the actual program details. A quick note, while I cater to women primarily, so don't run away if you're a man, I do serve you as well. It's just the vast majority of my students are goddesses. So anyone who wants to flex their frontal lobe and get going with their magnificence is welcome to apply. And I also want to just say, even if you don't have any plans for delivering a massively transformative purpose to the world by way of a business, this program is still for you if you want to align with a happy, healthy, and fulfilling life. The business side is just one piece of the fractal of this program that you'll have the opportunity to either zoom into or not. All right, guys, so let's open up the lines for any questions or comments that you may have. If you have to leave, God bless you on your path. If you want to stick around for 10 minutes or so, I'm going to be here answering your questions. You can either chat them out or raise your hand by pressing star two. If you want to speak to us, I will then unmute, unmute you if you're on the phone. All right, guys. So let's open the Q&A segment. <laughs> 